we are proud to, to, to present you uh, today's evening, uh, uh, Monsieur Frédéric Bay. Is good to pronounce. Good pronounced. It's uh, it's well, Frédéric Bay. <laughs> uh, uh, a French uh, designer of the war games, uh, very important person in the world of war gaming uh, in Europe. So uh, not only United. Uh, 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 United States of America are, uh, are the important in the war games, but Europe also, and France is uh, probably uh, the most eminent country in the world of war gaming of, in Europe, and uh, and uh, partly, of course, it is uh, it is because of uh, our today's guest. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, now uh, we are going to our main questions. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, we'll come from uh, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, Frederic. Nice to hear you. Hello. Uh, you know, the first question will be about uh, your history uh, in war game uh, society. Could you please uh, mm, describe to the to the to the players, mostly to the Polish players, I think. How did you get uh, into the game players uh, society? Was it connected to your, uh, you know, uh, interested about history or or gaming? You know, it's because it's 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 very varies between the players how they uh, get into into the society of 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 of, of gamers and and that's why you know I'd like to ask you about this. Okay. Uh, well, uh, first of all, um, I, I've been uh, interested in history uh, for the very beginning, uh, from the very beginning of my life. Always uh, passionate of history, Roman history, French history, yep. Napoleonic history. Even I was when I was a, a very young boy. Uh, I'm 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 born in in 1961. At this time, uh, there were plenty of uh, movies. Uh, related to uh, military history, it was still very popular, more popular and more uh, uh, more easy to to see on Sunday night on the TV and and so on than than today maybe. Uh, and uh, for me, the the image uh, uh, brought by TV by movies were very important because in my mind I wanted to recreate what I've seen on the TV about history in into gaming. And for me, gaming, war gaming, has always been associated with uh, images. I was telling in myself stories about history, about the Gallic Wars, about uh, things like that, and I wanted to find a way to to replay them uh, like a little boy. Uh, first, it was with a uh, airfix soldier, things like that, and uh, a, a bit later by customizing some board games, trying to. Uh, uh, tell to my, myself the story I, I have read in books or see on uh, in, in movies. That, that was the very beginning uh, image, imagination, and the the, the wish to recreate uh, this universe uh, that I was uh, fond of. And uh, to to speak uh, more directly of uh, wargaming, uh, I, I bought uh, when they appear in France. It was in the late seventies. The first uh, war games that were published in French and in France, uh, it was a magazine in uh, Jeux et Stratégie magazine, uh, and later in Cassius Belli uh, magazine. They were very simple but very interesting small war games in French with uh, hexagons, counters, very simple. And uh, for me, it was like uh, uh, that is what I want, and uh, I was really. Uh, immediately very interested in playing that that, uh, that kind of game and uh, how I enter this uh, this world it uh, it was because I, I, I had a friend who were who was connected to uh, a guy called uh, Laurent Inninger who is uh, an important uh, historian in France around military history and battles sto uh, battle history and uh, he was working for Cassius Belli magazine and in charge of the, the wargaming part of this magazine. And uh, through the, the, this connection, uh, I discussed with this guy and he, he asked me to write my first uh, article about wargaming. And uh, a bit later, it, it comes to uh, uh, ask me to, to propose the first design of a wargame. That's, that's the way I, I enter the, this uh, hobby world. 
it was, uh, I think, the, the first article in uh, 91, then I was 30 at the time. Yeah. So, it, so it comes directly uh, from your interest about history? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it becomes your profession, yes? yes. Uh, uh, it's not my, my profession. I, I have uh, made studies in a, in a business school, uh, and uh, I uh, always work in the banking sector. In, in France, for, for French bank, for foreign banks later, and uh, rather in the, uh, not directly in the finance part, uh, finance uh, or business part of the banks, but rather in uh, IT, information technology around this, uh, but still uh, always in the, the banking sector. But uh, beside my uh, business uh, school, I also study uh, history, but later, I was already working in a, in, a, in a bank and I, I restart later because it was really my passion and I, uh, I made a, a course in uh, La Sorbonne in Paris uh, to study uh, Roman history. Oh. But it has never been my, my job. You, you know, you need the money to live. It's hard to live. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to live, you know, with, uh, studying history, I think. <laughs> and I, I have a big family and uh, five children. Then oh, I very nice. Congratulations. <laughs> I have I have only two sons, so you know I I can't you know compare my, my my family to yours. So so very very I'm very proud. It's, if it's five children, it's lovely. And the second question will be uh, connected. You know it will be the same yeah. from me and it will be connected to the to the first I think, uh, because you know you told us that uh, you have very very wide perspectives. You know for to access to, to, to the board games world in France. Yeah. We, 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 don't, we didn't have a similar situation in Poland, as, as, you, as you know, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so could you please uh, describe uh, us the French uh, players' uh, society? Do you have any convents, you know, any, any game meetings in France? Because you are very, I think, you are very energetic uh, people, uh, you know, about the war games uh, yeah. in, in France. You have uh, many companies uh, connected and, and uh, devoted to the to the to the war games. Uh, you are very well known uh, in the in the um, players' world uh, as a French, you know, as a creators, yeah. as a designers. Uh, so, uh, could you please make a, a little close up to 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 the to, uh, to the Polish uh, players or to the others? Uh, English uh, the, for the people who understand the English to the, the little close-up about the uh, French players uh, society okay yes and um, it has changed uh, quite recently because uh, when I start war game in the in the 70s 80s there were a limited uh, number of uh, publisher uh, basically, there was one magazine, Joanne Strategy, and later one other magazine, Cassius Belli, uh, yeah. with uh, uh, also a company called uh, Jeux Descartes, and that was the only uh, war game publisher. And uh, it was a very small world, and in fact, uh, things have changed in the 90, uh, when uh, Vaivictis appeared in 95, and with Vaivictis, uh, France Wargaming Society became bigger, Yes. And uh, more dynamic, and really, Vaivictis uh, brought a lot of things to to to, to war games in France, because even in in the former magazine, it was sometimes a war game, sometimes uh, a role game, sometimes a board game. It was not always war game every month. With Vaivictis, it was then a very structure a war game every two months. Uh, some. Uh, uh, extra games, some sometimes published, and so on. Then uh, the the, the war games society became bigger at this time, and uh, in the 21st century, then we we the French uh, war game world became really adult, with uh, several companies that are publishing war game now. We you have uh, uh, the Vaivictis company that is publishing war game. You also have, uh, for example, uh, Exasim. Uh, we yes. had in the time uh, As Your Wish, who, which now have, have uh, disappeared. Uh, we also have uh, Ludifoli, for, for which I uh, work with. Yeah. You have several companies that are proposing war game and uh, in a more professional way, not only game inserted in a magazine, but boxed game or game in uh, Ziploc and so on. And now we are, uh, in terms of organization and uh, 
publishing company, very structured with uh, uh, three or four uh, very uh, organized, uh, small but organized uh, publishing company. In terms of player number, we are not so so many in France to to play to play war game. I think it's like in other countries, even in the United States, it's still a, a, a small world of passionate players who mainly play war games. There is n not so much connection with uh, board gaming. Uh, we also have players with uh, figurines, but it's also uh, like a, a separate world. There is no not so many connection between uh, figurine player and uh, war game players on map. Let's think around the uh, convention. Uh, the, the first convention that were very popular in France were the French War Game Championships, uh, which have started in the uh, 1980, and uh, they have disappeared uh, in the 90, replaced by Trophée du Bicentenaire. Maybe we will uh, uh, talk a little bit of it later. And uh, now we have it's a, it's the same thing in the 21st century. We when the War Gaming World in France became more organized. We have plenty of conventions, small conventions, big conventions, and uh, currently the biggest one is the uh, uh, French uh, War Game uh, Open that occurs every September in Paris yeah. with uh, several uh, tournaments, sev several uh, exhibitions of games, uh, shops, uh, and so on. How, how many players just about is on a Paris in September? Uh, <coughs> yes, just, just, just about, just about. Uh, uh, it's uh, in in hundreds. It's maybe at the same times you will have uh, two, uh, two hundred, two, two hundred and fifty, maybe three hundred person in the building. Uh, not all these person are playing, but you have uh, this uh, this uh, size of uh, attendance, and it's uh, uh, on three days, and the, the the total of person coming is more than than that. But at the same time, it's around yeah. these uh, these numbers. Uh, is it devoted only uh, to the uh, war board games or to the all kind of games? Uh, no, it's uh, it's really around board war games, and uh, oh, we yeah. have some, some uh, variants, but it's really mainly focused on uh, uh, board war games. Yeah, great. So it's it's not ba it's, it's not bad. Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred people. It's 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 it's, it's very good score, I think. And I, uh, as I told you, uh, on three day you have more than this uh, total, uh, but uh, at the same time it's it's uh, the average of people playing or or visiting maybe three hundred something like that. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, tournaments, uh, in uh, the. The trophée du, when we play the Napoleonic tournament, uh, Trophée du Bicentenaire, the maximum player we have in a single tournament was 110. And uh, I think it's, uh, it occurs to be uh, a bigger figure for some uh, French war game championship in the 80 and 90, where they uh, reach 200 uh, people playing the same tournament. Only tournament around a, a game for a, a championship. It's, is, is, the, is it the biggest in, in France? Biggest convent in France? Uh, no, the biggest convent in France is the French Open in September. Yes. Yeah, that's. But you have several other. You have plenty. You are, honestly, you have maybe uh, one per month in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in other cities and Paris, and uh, it's it's in terms of convention, it's really changed in the 21st century. It's more developed than be, than before. Because there are more publishers, there is more war games, yeah. and there not not really more players, but uh, there is a better organization. It's easy to uh, contact uh, with the uh, internet, and so it's easier to 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 contact with internet and so on. So it's a historical city, you know, TGV also on the Fran in the France. So yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> so no problems. <laughs> to, to, to be. Uh, and uh, 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 the Maybe to to conclude on this point, uh, in France you have uh, you have uh, in uh, in Cannes the the place where there is a, yeah. a cinema festival. Yes. You have every year you have a, a game convention which is not devoted to war game but to game in general, uh, board games, and it's really really bigger than war game convention. You have thousands of people, so and it's, inside it's... of this convention you also have some. Uh, 
uh, war game publishers that are coming to present their products and so on. But this uh, can game convention is really the the biggest things we we could have in uh, in in France. Yeah. So is is it similar to to Essen Fairs, for example? Yeah, it, it's it's the same kind of, uh, yeah. of of convention. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, now I'd like to let uh, the voice to to Michael. So I think he prepared a few questions for you. Yeah. Michael. It sounds not to be in line. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it's back. Now, uh, and now back to begin. And the order was uh, about the first design it and uh, and uh, uh, I forgot the all right uh, published game. What what uh, what 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 was the uh, the title of this game? What first was the design and published the game? War game and, uh, yeah, uh, the 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 first uh, war game I, I have published is uh, Belum Gallicum. It was a game, a strategy game about the Gallic Wars, uh, published in '92, uh, if I remember well. And uh, it's what is funny about this game that I, I, I have worked maybe five years before on it. At the very beginning, it was a, a huge uh, game. Like when you start in uh, in designing, you always want to to make uh, the perfect game at the first trial. But in fact, it was really too big. And at the end, the one that has been published was really uh, uh, a magazine inserted game in a, of a, uh, average uh, complexity and average size which was really uh, better than the one I wanted to to design before which was very really too big and uh, then it has been published in uh, Cassius Belli and, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and now it's rep Repub it has been uh, there is a, a, a version two, uh, which is different with some redesigned, redesigned that has been published by uh, Vaivictis. Vaivictis, yes, uh, it has been republished in a, in a or series game of uh, Vaivictis, not in the magazine. Uh, in the beginning of your uh, designer's career, what was from the beginning? What was the designer, which? Uh, who influenced you uh, the most uh, uh, from the beginning of your yeah. career? Uh, uh, when I started to play, uh, I bought all the game of a French uh, designer, w which is not, uh, with, with, who is now uh, totally unknown because it was uh, uh, Mr. Defieu. Uh, he has published a game on Austerlitz, mm -hmm. on Solferino, Magenta, and uh, Franco Prussian War, but he, he has only published four games. Uh, but it was a very, the very first French designer who published popular war games, and he, he really influenced me at the very beginning. But he, it was uh, somebody who uh, has not made so much uh, game after he has disappeared. I don't know. I, I never met him. And uh, after the, the the most uh, influencing designer I've, I've uh, uh, known is uh, was it's very classical. Uh, I was fond of uh, Kevin Zucker game about uh, Napoleonic uh, era, and fond of uh, Richard Bell game about uh, and Mark Hamill games about uh, uh, ancient uh, warfare. That's uh, really uh, classic and very. Uh, of history. Yeah, yeah, but uh, these, these three designers, Zucker, Hermann Berg where in terms of uh, foreign designer, the one that I, I started with, I, I was buying all their games. And, and there is also one uh, French designer that has uh, been very popular and in influencing my first design. It was uh, 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 Jean-Jacques Petit, who has published uh, several games also in the, uh, in the 80s, but uh, no, they are, they, are not, uh, they are no longer in the business. But uh, Jean-Jacques Petit, I met it, um, met, met it once uh, because uh, I discovered by chance he was living. I know he was working in the same city uh, that uh, I am living in. Then uh, we had the chance to to meet. Michael is calling from Poland. Yes, yes, yes. From, 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 from Poland. Yes. And you from uh, England? Yeah, from from southern England. I live in Somerset, so it's it's, okay. it's not very far from France. In the in, the stra <laughs> in a straight line, it's very close. <laughs> the question was about uh, Richard uh, about the Arberg and the uh, Jour de Gloire series and so on. That's it. Yes, yes. What was the influence at the beginning of this series? Uh, and uh, maybe to 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 answer you about uh, the Jour de Gloire. Uh, 
a genesis and the way it 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 it, it has yep. been uh, designed. Uh, then it was in the uh, in ninety seven we we start this uh, idea. Uh, then I, I was uh, at this time I was always playing war game with the same person, a friend of mine with which na whose name is uh, Mark Bronsma. And uh, we uh, we wanted at this time to to visit uh, every uh, battlefield from uh, Napoleonic era uh, for the bicentennial. And then afterward, we say visit is good, but we should also design game about that. And uh, at the same time, we uh, we play some uh, Richard Beck uh, game, and we find it very very good. Uh, and uh, then we. We asked directly to to uh, Richard by mail uh, that we we were appreciating the uh, his war game and that we would like to uh, adapt in French uh, based on the same uh, family of rules uh, uh, Napoleonic uh, game at the brigade level at the brigade uh, scale and uh, explaining that our project was to follow Bicentennial. And uh, we we got the agreement of Vaivitis to to develop a series around the B Napoleonic bicentennial, and then we discuss with Richard Berg how to uh, adapt one of his uh, rule set into uh, a, a French war game. Then he, he, he in fact he developed at this time he was developing at this time a system which was called Victory, but we which uh, never appear with this name in the in boxed war game. And uh, his, his set of rule uh, uh, has been used for a civil war game. It was a glory uh, system, and also in uh, Napoleonic uh, period games, it was a triumph of glory uh, system. And in French, it, it becomes a jour de gloire system. At the beginning, uh, before the publishing of the first war game, the, the system were really very, very close. It was a translation with some uh, small changes. And with time, uh, the, the system uh, uh, have diverted a little bit, and uh, mainly because uh, with uh, the tournament we organized around this bicent bicentennial uh, uh, idea, we play a lot of uh, game of Jour de Gloire in tournament, and we learn a lot of uh, this huge amount of uh, games played by uh, many players, very trained players to, 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 to use the system. And then we improve a lot the, the way the rules were worded and uh, the way the, the rules have been uh, uh, improved. And then uh, because of that, we, we diverted a little bit of uh, Richard Berg system. But to conclude, uh, at the very beginning, we asked Richard Berg to use uh, part of his design with the activation marker, which which is uh, a Richard Berg uh, uh, idea. It, it is really his idea, and uh, it is the basis of this uh, Jour de Gloire system. Then we 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 owe a lot to uh, to Richard Berg because he is uh, the the father of this idea and of this system. Not uh, about uh, something about uh, bicentennial trophy, yeah. uh, which is uh, which is uh, uh, very interesting for me. Uh, uh, the question is, particular games uh, in this uh, in uh, in Jour de Gloire series yeah. designed because you wanted to have a game for a tournament for your friends. Uh, they wanted to uh, to go have yeah, some yeah. games, yeah. or you wanted to make a tournament to make very closer to people by designing the games from this series every the, year. The, the the idea was a global idea uh, with Marc Bronsma, Bronsma when we created the Jour de Gloire system in France. We had at the same time the idea of uh, having uh, a series rules, uh, having a game every year devoted to uh, uh, a Napoleonic battle, uh, which was the bicentennial battle of the year. Uh, because uh, there was battle every year, and we could have a bicentennial every year for this uh, 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 for this period, and uh, also third part to have a tournament around this battle uh, to uh, to have uh, as many players as possible around it, 
because at this time the French War Game uh, Championship uh, has uh, disappeared, and we wanted to to recreate a, a tournament to to uh, gather all the the players that wanted to play war games in uh, in a tournament uh, uh, context. Then global idea: one game, one year, uh, one tournament. And the game were really designed around the global concept because we ch we choose every year a battle of the the bicentennial year. Uh, Austerlitz in uh, 2005, uh, Jena in 2006, because it was the, the 200th uh, anniversary of this battle. And so on. Then we we follow a calendar and we we have at the total we had the 19 years of. Uh, um, uh, uh, the the system, the bicentennial trophy is yeah. of course uh, over in uh, uh, a few a few a few years ago. Yeah, it it was over after uh, Waterloo bicentennial. Again, something uh, some some something wrong something wrong. Uh, no, no, it's it's uh, only because uh, uh, the concept was a, a bicentennial concept, and uh, we wanted a beginning and we wanted an end, and it was planned. Uh, since the beginning, that after uh, Waterloo uh, 200th anniversary, it will be finished, and then. Uh, yes, but, uh, but I but I heard that uh, that the that the system is not uh, over. No, not this over uh, no, no. after bicentennial trophy. There are oh. some uh, some new games in uh, in preparation. Yes. Uh, there is there is new game uh, that have been published or republished. And uh, I will continue yeah. to design uh, Napoleonic battles in with this series, but the tournament is over. That uh, the tournament is over, and it, it will not start again. And but and, uh, and uh, some some word to tell me, but uh, the, the this uh, the this battle for the bicentennial trophy uh, was not only based on these scenarios uh, published. Uh, but uh, there, are sp there were special scenarios uh, designed uh, especially for this trophy. Uh, yes, yes. I, am, I am right. Uh, you're right, and uh, all these uh, tournament scenarios are available on my uh, website for the people who, who are interested in uh, on my website, but they are in French. Uh, but a scenario is very easy to understand yeah. in French because basically it's a list of uh, unit and uh, setup uh, axes. Then it's quite easy to understand, and we we have done that because in a tournament context, uh, we have to organize uh, games that were limited to two hours. Then it was not possible to to play the whole battles each time. For small battles, it was possible. For big battles, we really have to to create a balanced uh, tournament scenarios specifically for the for the Trophée du Bicentenaire tournaments. Yes, uh, uh, there are some. There was, was a Swiss system in this tournament, something like that. Swiss system. Uh, yes, in, in, uh, the, the the principle of the tournament was to have uh, for each year we had the tournament with six games played. Then uh, the the two first uh, play it was just uh, um, uh, we, we 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 had a. Uh, uh, a cup, and we take the name of uh, players. It was just by chance that they play against another player, but uh, with uh, uh, taking into account uh, uh, the ranking of the year before. Then I take uh, the 16 uh, first player, and I, I built eight games with the 16 pl uh, eight uh, first players. Same thing for the 16 uh, after. And uh, again and again, then we have a group of 16 players based on, uh, of, on the ranking of the year before. And we play within this uh, group for the two first round. And starting with the third game, it was uh, a pure Swiss system. First player in the ranking of the tournament playing against the second one, the third against the first one, and so on. And we made a ranking of the, after the thir third game. We remake a ranking after the fourth game, and we uh, rearrange uh, all the the, the the games like that. Swiss system uh, directly. Yeah, I don't know if yes, I, uh, I don't know if I have been clear on the the way it was played, but 
it was uh, basically a six game Swiss system with just some uh, arrangement for the two first uh, game uh, taking into account the overall ranking after one or two uh, tournaments. Yes, so the players you should uh, know very well the rules and should be you should be you should be swift. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and uh, there is uh, uh, there, there there were level differences between the players, uh, very very strong differences. Uh, we know some other French war games, yeah, and some of us, uh, some of us Polish war gamers find them very interesting. Some of them. Uh, mainly tactical ones uh, have elements borrowed uh, from the Jour de Gloire series. For example, uh, Eagles of France by, by Walter uh, Wydowski. Yeah. 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 Do you play other French designers' war games? Oh yes, yes. I, I play the Victis game. I play also uh, other uh, other publisher games. I I really appreciate the Eagles of France uh, series. Who also take into account some uh, principles that are coming from uh, Kevin Zucker games. And uh, in, in the Eagle series, what, uh, what is uh, really nice is that they, have, uh, they are not uh, limited by a tournament. Then the, uh, Walter has designed really bigger games uh, with very uh, huge maps and, and so on. Then it's another way of uh, uh, approaching this battle, designing the, the, the way it is, uh, it is wargamed. And uh, it's really, really interesting. Uh, which one uh, you find uh, the most interesting? Uh, this one or, or uh, another? Uh, for Napoleonic or for? Uh, no, at all, at all. Uh, not only Napoleonic. Which French war game I found uh, the yes. most interesting yeah. or, or overall? I, I, I'm not sure of the question. What you want to know is uh, uh, which war game I found the most interesting within French design or? In French design, yes. In in the uh, probably the the Eagle series currently, uh, it's uh, the one that is uh, the the most interesting. Uh, in the past, I have played also uh, mainly Vivictis games, and there were uh, some uh, some that I really uh, liked. All, all the game uh, around the uh, Indochina War that were designed in uh, Vivictis by Kim Kanger. We have republished some of them uh, with the uh, Legion War games, uh, and also what I liked in uh, in the Vaivictis game I've played is uh, also to discover period in which I was not a specialist. For example, I used to to play some uh, some game around uh, World War Two, uh, and to discover this period through uh, games designed in uh, in Vaivictis by Nicolas Stratigos around World War Two or by uh, Jean-Claude Bézida, for example. Uh, and uh, what about uh, uh, Liberty Roads, for example? Uh, Liberty Roads, I didn't play it. Then uh, I cannot play it. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the fifth, uh, the fifth uh, question is uh, uh, it's connected with uh, the uh, previous. Uh, what of your games, uh, apart uh, of uh, the Jour de Gloire, do you like or appreciate the most? Okay. Apart of Jour de Gloire. Uh, out of Jour de Gloire in in, uh, in the world, uh, I have no limitation. I can. Uh, no, no, no. But uh, it, it's uh, it's about your your games. Uh, in within Jour de Gloire, which Jour de Gloire game I appreciate which most? Your game, no. which is not the Jour de Gloire uh, ah. game. Beside, is, beside, is, beside. Uh, beside. Uh, understand, understand. Uh, in the, in the game, I have uh, uh, there there is uh, two series that I'm really. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I like them. Is uh, the small one, the Peloponnesian War series that has that I have designed for Vaivictis. There are four games: uh, Sphacteria, I this one I appreciate it uh, Syracuse, Amphipolis, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember the fourth one. <laughs> Elespon. Elespon. Oh, yes, Elespon. It was the third one, and Amphipolis the fourth one. Then uh, I, I appreciate. Designing this game because uh, for for me it's uh, it's an idea that I have for for a long time to try to to uh, to design at this scale uh, with uh, it's it's not operational scale it's uh, it's also a little bit tactical and uh, I like them I, I'm happy to have designed them and uh, of what I remember in in the past uh, 
there has been a, a survey about the, the, the Vaivictis game that were appreciated by gamers and uh, uh, Imperator, the, the game I designed about uh, uh, Roman Empire was really appreciated. The one, yeah. yeah, the first one, he, he, he was selected as uh, the best game of the f among the 50 first Vaivictis game. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember. Yes, um, yes, yes, I remember as, as well. When you, and the, the last, the last question, like uh, more general, uh, when you design a world game, uh, what is your first and main idea to give a fun for players or to to relieve uh, and popularize the history in minds of war gamers or to make simulation of history as close as possible? I, I have a really precise idea about that. Uh, in war games you have two worlds. You have war and you have game. And when I design I always think to, to the two uh, sides of it. Uh, then there is a very important historical context but you also have to have a game and something that is interesting to be played, uh, stimulating the player, uh, fun and uh, interesting. Uh, it's exactly the same thing in, uh, in, the, in the movie industry. Uh, when there is historical movie, if you don't have a, a scenario within the film, you, you only have a, a kind of a reportage which is not very interesting at the end. You, you have to have uh, a scenario in the game, a main idea that will make it interesting to be played. And uh, historic, history is very important, but you always have to think also to the gaming part. That's my, what I've tried to do. And uh, when I, I, I design game, it's, it's starting uh, always on the same principle. I really have in my mind the, the uh, a kind of movie of around the, the, the war game and the story that he will tell to the player. And uh, it's, it's around this main idea that uh, the, the game is de designed afterward and not uh, only on the accuracy, historical accuracy. If you are too much focused on that, uh, the game could be boring, the game could be uh, not... Uh, uh, not always more accurate, but uh, it could be boring, and you also you you, you have to, to think to the gaming part always. Uh, and I uh, uh, this is, uh, was my uh, last question. Maybe you tell me have uh, another one. <laughs> yeah, if if I could, I have the last one. It's about uh, it's uh, it's a bit about the history, about the uh, Polish-French relation. If you if you like, yeah. I I could ask something between the topics. <laughs> Yeah. Is it okay? It will be the last question because it's 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 a late time, so we don't you know we don't want to to to, to take your time uh, you know to to, to to watch your time. So so I think it will be last question. You know, the French uh, because you are a very strong set in a in a Napoleonic era. So yeah. so you uh, so you exactly know that the French and the Polish were allies yeah. uh, two two hundred years ago. And I like to ask you uh, because um, there is a. a you know the the, the trends in a, in a Anglo-Saxon games that uh, yeah. that the, the history of, of, of the of the you know the mm, the Polish uh, contribution to the Napoleonic Wars is wiped. Simply saying, it's yeah. uh, it's 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 not very popular. Uh, and I'd like to ask you uh, how big uh, the awareness uh, of of the uh, Polish contribution in, in, in into Napoleonic Wars. To, you know. Uh, by the being uh, French allies uh, uh, is in France. Right. Uh, so, uh, so do, do the do the French players uh, recognize the, the topics? You know, or or it's just you know they don't care, and then you know right, they, they right. do not put attention to that. So it's yeah. you know it's it's very interesting from from our point of view. You know, from because because the the, the French military history is very well known in Poland, and it's many people interested in that. So I just like to ask you from the other side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, honestly, uh, the, the the contribution of uh, Polish soldiers during the Napoleonic Wars is very well known in France. I, I just have to look at my uh, bookshelf. Just in front of me, I have a book which title is Les Polonais de Napoleon, Polish Soldier of Napoleon. Uh, it's popular. There is a lot of book around it. Uh, the uh, the Polish soldiers are uh, often. Uh, 
uh, represented in a co cover of books and so on. It's, it's really well known. During the Trophée du Bicentenaire also, we had uh, among the player, French player, we had also uh, player from Polish origin, and they they always mention they never forget to mention that they were using <laughs> uh, some uh, Polish unit from the guards, Polish uh, cavalry. <laughs> yeah. and so Don't worry, they were always mentioning it because we have uh, among among the player we had also this uh, community of uh, French from uh, Polish origin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So you know we are we are very. We are very connected with history, so yeah. many people and, that that living and, uh, the history. So, so, so I think th that's why. But, but I think it's similar in France, you, you you are interested in in your history. You like to read about your about your. Yeah. You know, uh, no, but uh, among uh, the, among the others, the the, the Frederic uh, designer probably uh, the first ga game uh, uh, connect devoted to the Somosierra battle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's the only uh, Jour de Gloire game that is uh, playing uh, in uh, a solo, as a solo game, and it was devoted to Somo Sierra with mainly Polish units. Yet, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. We would uh, gladly honor uh, you uh, singing uh, the for Polish song. Is that uh, really the the Polish contribution to Napoleonic uh, yeah, era yeah. is very well documented in French books. And uh, that's uh, no issue about that. And uh, on my uh, myself, I went in Poland the first time in 2016. Yeah. I, I I came from France by car. I visited the south of Poland only. Yeah. Uh, mountains, I, Polish mountains, on Kraków. Uh, yes, from uh, I I have issue with pronouncing the name of the cities, but I I went in uh, Vos, uh, uh, Wroclaw. Uh, former Breslau. <laughs> ah, Wrocław. Yeah, Breslau. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I think we could finish, Michael. Yeah. As uh, you, uh, or... So we are uh, we, uh, we, we 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 are glad we are glad to uh, to make an interview with you, uh, Frederick. Uh, thank you very thank you very much. Yes. Okay, yeah. then uh, have a good night. Yeah, have a good, good night. night. Thank have you very good. much again, yeah. and have bye. a good night. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank bye you very bye. much. For, thank for you. Bye-bye.